Welcome to Pattern Making Class. This is Annette Julie, and today we are working on the kimono draft. And we just made this a detached kimono draft. I took off the sleeves. The front sleeve was right there, and then we have a notch to match. And the back sleeve was right here, and now we have a double notch to match. And we took that sleeve and we put it together and now we have a one-piece sleeve, but that could be a two-piece sleeve as well. Everything still needs seam allowance, and you need to design that more. But what you want to do also is you have another option. You can take your front or back, and we can start by making a facing. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper, and let's put a, grass, a grain line on it. There's my grain line, and I'm going to bring this into my armhole. And if you can't see uh, a grain line in your pattern right now, make your grain line parallel to your center front. Okay, draw yourself a new grain line if you can't use yours. And let's go ahead and match those grain lines. Now that's matched. And I'm going to trace off my shoulder. And I'm going to trace off my armhole, which is really big in this case because we've made a detached kimono. And a bit of my side seam. Okay, let's go ahead and also transfer the single notch. And make sure you have all the corners filled in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to lift up my front, I'm going to pull my notch in, right here is my grain line, and with this facing, I need to put seam allowance on the body of the garment, but I also need to put seam allowance on this facing. So if I was going to start with my seam allowance in the armhole, I would put a quarter of an inch. Okay, this is my side seam. It needs one half inch. This is my shoulder. This needs one half inch. Now we have to decide how wide we want that armhole facing. You can go ahead and make this two inches, three inches, with a little bit of seam allowance on the outside. And then we have a little bit of a curved line that we're going to cut out here. I'll move my grain line over. We've got our shoulder. And we're cutting out our armhole. You can blend that with the curve ruler. I'm just blending as I cut. Okay, let's put another grain line back on because we cut it off put it right in the middle. We did a smaller facing than I thought. There we go. And this is my facing for my front armhole. And this is also my detached kimono. Okay? But when you go into making a facing here, now we've got it on here, and look at, you can see how the, the seam allowance would affect it. Since we're not going to be using a sleeve, you can always come and take the shoulder down and curve it a little bit, right? We could bring that line down like that, and we can bring that seam allowance down like that as well. So just know that that's an option for finishing up your design is that you can curve the low point of the shoulder. Here's the facing and you would also do a facing for your back armhole. Okay, the low point of your shoulder down to your side seam. This is Annette Jui and this is the end of our facing for our front armhole uh, for our detached kimono. Have a great day. It's the next week. I'll see you in the next video. Au revoir.